morning everyone. I'm working on the last things before we start working on the insulation of the yurt platform. The weather is very cloudy but we hope it stays dry anyway. Uh, tomorrow we expect the yurt to arrive and we hope to start building the yurt this week. Yes, you heard that right. It's the day before the yurt will arrive. Very exciting. We hope to have a phone call today on what time exactly it will be tomorrow. I hope not at the end of the day because we still have to transport the yurt from the village to our land. thing was maybe a bad call. What? <laughs> that it is a bad call. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, so the rain actually did come this time. So many times they say it's going to rain and then we have a little drip and that's it. So we hope that it would be the same for today, but um, it's raining. <laughs> It's already raining for half an hour and we now have thunder as well. Um, so the whole insulation project is on hold and we're going to have lunch. We'll see how the rest of the day will be. Um, there are enough activities for us to do, even though it's raining. So we keep ourselves busy, um, but the insulation might not be happening today. It seems to be the story of our life that our plans are changing, not only by the weather, but this time also by the arrival of our yurt. Uh, it's amazing, it's coming today, it's Tuesday, we were expecting it on Wednesday. We just had a call from the driver, so we are speeding up to prepare and uh, go to the village where our yurt will be delivered. Wow! <laughs> um, so, wow, yeah, we are going to receive our house today. Currently waiting at a bus stop, that's the corner of the road. And wait for a truck with a special delivery. In the rain, unfortunately. And no crew ready because that was all scheduled for tomorrow. So our yurt is here and he can't get it off the truck. Uh, we need to take the yurt apart because it's um, too big and he can't get it off. So, uh, wow, that's really a bummer because we had hoped that it could be set apart on, uh, yeah, here on this part. But um, yeah, we take it as it comes. <laughs> oh no, how are we going to do this? 
driving truck. This is a delivery fail, kind of like we had our team ready for tomorrow and uh, you're just delivered today. It doesn't fit, everything is wet. Uh, a bit of a nightmare, but um, okay, we only have to ride the off-grid road and not the main road or anything, so we will figure this out. Was that the last part, guys? Yep. Yes. Empty? Yeah, empty. Wow. And the car is full and the trucks are full. Yes. Empty. And the neighbor's shed also full with our stuff. Yep. Whew, I look like a mess because I just unloaded a truck with all your parts. Um, our neighbor came and said, oh, you can store it in, our, in my place. So we are very happy to use that space for now because it will take some time to bring it to our land. <laughs> <laughs> Truck is empty. <laughs> we have our yurt. Not on our land, but we have our yurt. Our house is delivered. Neora, are you still there? Yes. Do you fit in? Yes. Good. Okay, um, my car is loaded and Janik and Tekla didn't fit, didn't fit in anymore, so they have to walk. It's a little rain, so they will be fine. <laughs> Our neighbor is just so kind. We can use his uh, space as storage because there's a lot of rain coming in the coming days. He says um, we will see how things go because we first need to have our insulation in before we can even build. And of course, we have some space on our land where we can store it, but he says, oh, you can leave it here. It's good. So we will see how everything fits. Um, first things first, our first load to the land. Dank je, Moppie. Dat is van wel. Ik heb echt, ik heb echt 
Zwarte Tom. Ja. Papa, kijk wat ik op de weg heb gevonden. Oh. Handig. Beter dan twee. It's like I've been hugged by a sheep or something. <laughs> We're covered with hairs. Good morning. It's uh, the day of the arrival, or at least that was what we thought. Um, well, a yurt is here, and we have to work on the insulation. The day looks way more promising than yesterday. We have sun out, and hopefully it will stay the entire day, so we can get some insulation done, uh, and the things that got wet uh, are able to dry, <laughs> because yesterday it was massive. Um, it, there was a little rain expected, and not an entire afternoon. However, um, yeah, it's how it goes here. Sometimes you expect a little and you get a lot, and sometimes you expect a lot and you get nothing. And it was a risk that we took, and we chose the wrong moment to do it. So, anyways, um, we had a lot done yesterday with our yurt delivery. Also, that went, didn't went as planned because it was planned today and we had some help, but okay, we cancelled that because we don't need it anymore. We couldn't get the whole package off the truck because uh, it was too long and he couldn't get it off. The truck was too small to handle the whole package, so we had it uh, take it off bit by bit. Uh, didn't go as planned as well, but uh, and he was very friendly and stayed calm because yeah, it was just what it was. and. He, we can do anything about it and he can do anything about it other than just keep going and get the whole thing off the truck and we got it done. So that's good. And our neighbor was home and we can use his uh, garage to store parts of the yurt. So 50% of the yurt is now on our land and 50% is still there. And we're going to keep it like that until we uh, start building. He's fine with that. So we're very happy with this solution that we have right now. We work on the installation and get 
some work done about this and hopefully are able to work on the yurt very soon because in the end of next week there's a lot of rain expected again we hope it will stay in the end of next week and it doesn't come sooner but we will check the forecast on how uh, we're going to schedule building our yurt hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away We are making great progress with the uh, insulation on the yurt platform. However, we also have to stop every now and then because of the rain that is coming. Yeah, and now it's night. We only have one part to do with the insulation. Then we can start to put the OSB sheets on, close it off with a drip edge. Obviously, we didn't make it to build our yurt or anything. And I don't think we are able to do that next week because we don't have any help with that. And also the weather is not looking so great or really great for the land but just not so good for a building project so we might skip it for next week that's fine so uh, for sure we can finish up uh, the yurt platform and then hopefully we can find a good moment to build our yurt very soon because we do think it's going to take us at least two days to build the entire yurt because it's quite a big one so anyways it's here and it is coming very soon and we keep you updated and i will see you next week hey, baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand yeah we only get one life i want